Good afternoon or early evening, wherever you may be. Here it is 5.30 in the early evening, I guess you can say. This video is going to be in two, three different parts. Not separately um, put up, but there was something I wanted to do. Um, my husband and I went out to two different stores today, not grocery stores. Um, one is called Freighter Fright, Freighter Fright Tool Company, and I do buy some things from there. And the other one is TJ Maxx. I have never been there. But I needed some new shoes. I have worn the same pair of shoes, I'd say now for six years. And I thought, well, I got a little extra money. I might as well go out and buy me some new shoes. So that's what we did. But, and my husband bought me a new coffee pot yesterday at CVS for $15 so I don't care it's a coffee pot it makes coffee and I usually make a full pot and then we just drink out of it throughout the day and then come tomorrow if there's enough for a cup I will just reheat it that's the way to save money for me I mean I uh, finally went out and bought some liquid liquid creamer I like the Italian sweet cream is one what it's called and I usually buy the big mumbo jumbo big thing of creamer today oh and a review on the fruit salad by the time I opened it nada no good we had to dump the whole entire container we slowly dumped it into the toilet because I wasn't gonna have it sitting in my kitchen and no it was no good the review on the lip stain I put it on the next day um, my husband had to go get a three day a 3d x-ray done to his face and I decided to put on a little bit of face the other day right now it's like in the 90s here and I wasn't about to have all my makeup melt off what was the point of that so the other day I put that lip stain that I got on it stayed for a good four hours and then it kind of disappeared and I put it on top of my purple uh, lipstick so that worked but um, right now I am going to get I put a little bit of purple on this nail and I was just messing around with it the other day and so we are going to take that off and I will repaint with the nail polish that I got from the food pantry and it's got something stuck to it but nail polish that I got from the food pantry that day so I'm gonna use my Dollar General nail polish remover and my cotton ball and I'm just gonna remove it off of and it does it so far it comes off real easy and I gotta wash but there's that it's all clear now and we're gonna try it out let me put find what I did with the lid put the lid on the nail polish remover because we don't want that to um, spill if I accidentally spill it 
and we will see it says that it's quick drying nail polish it doesn't go on all that smooth I don't I'll let you I don't quite like this brand so I also might be using this for my crafts or whatnot it's kind of bumpy looking I don't quite I don't know if you can see that but it's kind of bumpy looking so I don't quite like that but we'll see how fast it really dries it's a pretty color but it's just not smooth enough for me I like it nice and smooth but we'll see how fast it dries but meanwhile I started a project I crochet from time to time and so I started without taking it all or losing it ah see now look at there I was gonna lose my needle I started making I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it I figured I'm just gonna keep on going and see what happens I do crochet quite often see I started going a little crooked here with it but I like the way that the pattern is showing up on here so that's cool I like that I have no like I said I have no idea what I'm gonna make with it I have this my brother is a dumpster diver and he found boxes of yarn brand new some of it was brand new um, he found boxes of yarn and brought him over and my niece and I kind of it's got a little bit of dog hair stuck to it and you really don't want that but my niece and I kind of divided all of it and I ended up with the funky blues so let's start off with Harbor Fright and it's not the nail is not quite dry yet but we'll start off with Harbor Fright it's only a small amount that I got I got storehouse value vol here I go again not being able to talk I swear must be the heat vacuum storage bags is just like those space safe storage bags I have a lot of blankets that I don't need that many blankets I have to have at least 15 20 blankets that I don't use all at once and I have when my father-in-law passed away one of the pieces of furniture that he made my husband and I um, promised that we would keep and that was the cedar chest and it takes up most of my hallway upstairs but I have all my blankets inside there and I thought well I can get more stuff in there if I use the vacuum bags and so we're gonna try them out I'm gonna re I'm gonna wash up all the blank um, blankets and I got two boxes I don't even remember how much these were we ended up signing up for um, their card for the store and you have to pay like thirty dollars a year so that's not bad it's sort of like um what the heck is the sam's club but sam's club price gone up so yeah i got two um boxes of that i got all different kinds of cable ties because I'm always tying up um, I used to have my own store 
and I sell keychains and all kinds of stuff well I still have a few things that I hang on to and I needed some zip ties and I'm always using my husband's zip ties he buys the plain black ones I like the different colors they came in all different sizes and there are 500 pieces and it costs seven dollars oh and there goes Kayla girl she's probably getting a drink of water and I do so and I went and I bought myself a 160 piece sewing kit and my mother-in-law had a lot of thread and sewing needles I like my eyesight has um, gotten a little bad and I like the needles with the big um, I hold the big uh, oh gosh now I can't even think of it but I like the needles with the big holes on the top so I thought this was kind of neat it comes with scissors needles threads pins button snaps rulers a thumble and more so I thought that was a pretty good I think it was like seven dollars for this whole kit it was either that or a regular toolbox then I got this three-piece vacuum seal food container set and it's by ship to shore container set here I thought that was pretty interesting I never used them and I am growing vegetables in my own garden so I thought hey why not something like that and because I have to continue to um, clean my husband's face I bought three boxes of these gloves even though they are made for um, you know painting and stuff like that I could still use them and it's not gonna bother his face because it, it is powdered free textured fingertips super protection so it varies against dirt grime oil chemicals used for food Janitorial painting maintenance and light shop work. So I got three boxes of those And I have my very own drill and I make um, Wind chimes out of silverware and I have gone through so many drill bits so I bought me some is a seven piece 3 by 32 inch titanium um, high speed steel drill bits I got that my father-in-law had a drill that he never used and so I inherited that and I got what else did I get I got another container of titanium drill bits, 1 by 16 because I also use them on, um, if they're really, really small, you can get them through uh, porcelain and I want to make a teacup wind chime. So. I broke quite a few of these on the silverware but they do work and then for clipping my chips or clipping uh, notes or whatnot to my refrigerator magnetic clip set blue and red so 
That is one reason why we go to Harbor Freight. I can buy all kinds of stuff. And that was the Harbor Freight uh, goodies that I bought. So, and now on to TJ, TJ Maxx. I needed some new shoes. And these were not on clearance, but they did have a set. They did have some on clearance, but they were a size 6. And these are a size bigger. The 8 and a half didn't fit across my toes. And I have small but slightly wide feet, so I ended up getting a size 9. And not bad, though. 30 bucks? Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, and by the way, the nail is dry. It did dry, but it's a little bumpy. So, but that's the color. That's what it looks like. Not bad. Not bad at all. And then I ended up buying a pair. I have a pair of brown ones, but they're very worn out. And I always wanted a pair of black ones, a pair of black moccasin slipper type shoe. But I wear these to the grocery store. I wear them out to the garage. I won't wear them when I'm working on the garden, but I will wear them. And when it's raining, no. Because of the suede, I won't wear them. And 24 bucks. Not bad. Like I said, I've never been in TJ Maxx. But hey, you do everything once, right? Then I got from TJ Maxx. This was on clearance, y'all. You know, you put your soap in here, your little sponge. And you set it up by... They had this color or dark gray. And I thought, well why not this color and for 450 not bad you know put it up by your sink and you're good to go and I love my pigs and I needed a new sink strainer because mine broke for three bucks this one wasn't on clearance but for three bucks I got me a pig sink strainer look at the little piggy how cute how cute and then I got this one was on clearance for four dollars a five piece measuring spoon set in pig look at the little piggy oink, oink, oink. love it and then for a dollar, I got a Maybelline New York Gloss Teal Eyeliner. I thought that was pretty cool for a dollar. They had it on sale, and then they had it on sale, and then they had it on sale, and then it was finally marked down to a dollar. And I tell you what, folks, I could have gotten me my very first eyeshadow palette every single one that I picked up was broken and I am not going to take the time to put it all back together it was broken some of the eyeshadow was missing no not my thing not going to take the time to do all that so no and then last but least from TJ Maxx I bought myself a candle for my bathroom. Yep. Sure did. They wrapped it in nifty little... I like the paper, so I might save it for a birthday present or something. And I might be going back to TJ Maxx. They had a... Almost the whole store was on clearance. This one was $4.50. And this one is Cotton Flower. And it is the Spa Collection. And it smells like regular laundry soap, but it's very, it's got a three wick 
And so this is going to go in my bathroom that I saw. They had, um, the name escapes me. They had some other candles that were also cotton. And I think they had a driftwood one. But I'm cheap, y'all. I don't want to spend 6 or $7. I'll spend four fifty on a candle. Which this candle was originally... 10 bucks and then they marked it down to five bucks and now down to four fifty. so yeah cotton flower by spa collections home fragrance so i like it and then my husband spotted this and I thought, what the? He spotted it for $5.50. This is Le Bon Madsen, Madsen Dish Soap Orange Ginger Dish Soap. That is a huge, huge bottle of dish, dish soap. Orange Ginger. And it does... You can smell more of the citrus smell. Smells more like oranges. And he talked me into it. It says, made with naturally derived ingredients, ultra-rich formula to clean dishes and soften hands. Home and Body Company. So... We'll have to see. Never heard of it. Never seen it. I thought maybe I could put some in my handy dandy little dish thing and see what happens. Because yesterday my husband bought me a great big bottle of Dawn. And that does happen to be my favorite. But And then last but not least... I bought me some plantain chips. Never had them before, and I thought I would try. They had all different kinds of uh, different stuff at TJ Maxx. It says it's only 90 calories, or no, 160 calories. And I've never had them before, and obviously my I've been eating them in the car as I'm driving because Racine is maybe about oh depending on traffic half hour 45 minutes depends on where you're going in Racine from where I live so I always have to have a drink with me and something to munch on I don't know why it's just the way it is. But anyways, my review on the nail polish is I don't like it very much. I'll probably finish, however, painting the other nine of my fingers because the green pretty much is coming off. I've been doing all kinds of running around and all kinds of stuff the last couple of days. And it's just been hectic around here. Catching up on some stuff. I'm slowly but surely getting all kinds of stuff done. So, yeah. That is it of that. I do plan on doing another video um, on a couple of recipes that I have. But I'm not, I don't have all the ingredients for it. There's a recipe... Football is coming, um, I think today. I think today they have the practice games. I'm not sure, but I think Green Bay Packers, yeah, are playing against the Broncos. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know, but I think it starts today. So... That means I'm going to have to perfect my 
uh, chicken wing recipes. I make really, really good uh, garlic parmesan chicken wings. And I make some really good mild, hot, mild and hot chicken wings. So I'm going to have to work on some recipes, some new recipes. I like to do a teriyaki one. I'm not really big on teriyaki, but I'm sure my husband is and he loves my chicken wings. So time for me to start. I can't, I can't believe football already, but... Anywho, my husband is getting ready to work on my car. He's changing the oil. And before he starts making all kinds of noise, I'm going to end this video and try to get it up and going so y'all can see it. I hope y'all have a really good rest of the day. I know I've had some pretty good days the last couple of days, so... Be kind to one another, love one another the way you would want somebody to love you. And above all, be happy. Okay. Have a good rest of the day. Peace out.